international community has gone through a series of global international events and meetings, uh, setting up the stage for the next 15 years of development. Uh, we started the year with the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction during the World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in Sendai, Japan. Now what we are doing is conceptually bringing disaster risk reduction and climate change to serve to the achievement of uh, sustainable development goals. Usually, environment and disasters are not on the agenda of any local authorities un unless something happens. And what we are trying, we try to bring it to their attention before it happens. Well, this is the second time that we run this course and I think the idea for UNDP is to engage with the academia on the issues related to innovation in disaster risk reduction, uh, in early warning systems, in ICT usage for disaster risk reduction. This year we focus the course on early warning systems. When you think about, for example, the climate change and um, uh, what what consequences climate change has, like desertification, for example, or how, um, how vegetation belts change or move and how communities maybe move and change. All these things can be looked at from space and this provides um, very interesting images, actually, of what is happening on Earth. You need the basis to be able to make policy decision, and that basis is a scientific basis that can generate decision making uh, in the short term as well as in the long term as far as public policy, as far as planning, land use planning, structural integrity, etc. So it's very important to be able to, to uh, correctly fund and be able to have a viable uh, service that is generating that capability. Earth observation image or, or satellite images can help um, mitigating or reducing the effects of disasters on the ground. They can provide interesting and, and valuable information, especially when it's, it's a huge disaster and, and a huge area affected. It's a great uh, uh, platform for exchanging of experiences and bringing and technologies and community experiences and uh, policy work where can you have the tremendous amount of examples all over the world. So participants are coming from humanitarian agencies, from international civil society, from nonprofits, from the government sector, and they don't necessarily have exposure to these technologies. So learning the potential that they hold and learning that it isn't rocket science, that you can actually sit down and obtain satellite imagery and do basic analysis on it to see what is happening in the environment that they're working with is really, really important. So it, the data communication side, I think, is, uh, is one of the most important aspects of this, but it's also the research side. This setup of a summer school gives a perfect experience to those who are practicing to have more insights from those who are dealing with the science and those practitioners from all over the world. And uh, eventually our idea is to bring all the stakeholders of disaster risk reduction process together. And they uh, normally include the national authorities, in our case Hungarian Civil Protection Academia, in our case Central European University private sector, we have a session from Motorola in our course, which actually is one of the most active private sector companies working on early warning systems. And international organizations such as we are, United Nations. Of course, a critical importance for the course is the participation and contribution of uh, non-governmental sector, civil society organizations. Mm -hmm.